are um, storytellers and listeners, not readers and writers. So we learn through listening. We learn through storytelling. We learn through like hearing the voice rather than reading it. So I think that the video project itself with lessons from our culture would be more appropriate rather than say a essay on or like a or like a like a written story to read the video project itself you can hear us you can hear how much passion we have in our voices you can hear how like the wisdom comes out and how like how much we love what we talk about it's powerful because you could see the person's feelings and uh, their stories, how they're expressing themselves. Like when you're reading a book, you kind of have to imagine that and you kind of have to make it up in your mind. Um, so like, we could actually feel the person's message instead of creating it in their mind. Yeah, I feel confident about about the fact that it's us doing the work and it's us owning it. And I feel like we wouldn't have even have gotten the interviews that we got if uh, if they knew that this was gonna be, like if this wasn't gonna be ours or if this if they're just put on display like as some sort of animal. And that's like considering past media and past government interactions here, like that's generally the feeling they got and that's why they're so distrustful of it. And then that, that's one of the things we stress is that we own this, we're doing this, we're doing it this way. And if you're uncomfortable with any of it, well, you know, we don't have to do it because we understand it. And they they know that since we know them on a closer level, not necessarily personally, but they just that they know that we're community and that if they didn't like it, that we wouldn't, we wouldn't show it or we wouldn't do it. And if they weren't comfortable, they know we would respect their boundaries. I, I think it would just be really empowering to have this project to, to connect everyone's voices. And at the end of the day, say, hey, we're here. And yes, we are still healing. Yes, we do face a lot of socioeconomic issues on our reserves. But as we're healing, we also want the earth to heal. That's why we're here. There's many, many powerful First Nation individuals who are doing things all across Canada, all across the United States, who are standing up for their people, who are standing up for themselves. You know, they're putting together teams, they're putting together, you know, all these multifaceted, just powerful members. So who's recording it? And shouldn't it be their own people recording it? That's, that's what I think.